Unfortunately, there was about a week of videos which have no voice input at all. Uh, we didn't check the videos that we'd been recording, which led to this. So it's a bit of a shame, but anyhow, uh, a little bit of background music and I'll add in a bit of voiceover where possible and we'll just have to leave it at that. Cheers. At this point of the trip, uh, we were traveling through Austria and then Switzerland. And this is the start of the Umbral Pass, which takes us up and over into Italy, uh, joining into the Stelvio Pass. The roads are smooth, uh, nice and winding. They've got plenty of width and uh, they're fairly quiet too, much traffic. At this point, we just enjoyed a nice stop watching the parade of bikes going up and down the road. Uh, this was the Stelvio Pass, and uh, we're heading towards the next town in Breno, Italy. And when we jump across the top of the Alps again to Lake Garda, and where we enjoyed a four day stop away from the rain. And uh, on the video, you'll see a bit of the wet weather that we encounter. Doing that.
And here we go. 10 minutes into our ride towards Lake Garda, which was about 100 kilometers, the rain started. And it didn't let up the whole way across. It was very steep roads and quite narrow. Uh, luckily, there wasn't a lot of traffic. Uh, most people have got the good sense to stay off the road. I think we saw one motorcycle in the whole trip across. Uh, that was it. But it was a good day. Nice experience seeing the countryside like that. It was all nice and green. And, uh, really pretty. Um, and then we stopped at Lake Garda for a couple of days afterwards. And that was really nice also. We spent three days at Lake Garda and once the weather had cleaned up, we managed to get ourselves off to ride the Strada della Fora or the SP38. And it is a stunning road and it runs alongside the Lake Garda itself. And uh, certainly an enjoyable day out and thoroughly recommend it if you get the chance to do so. I have a day uh, to head out on my own on the bike and just sort of take a ride south of uh, Reggio, uh, Miglia, uh, which is where we're staying and uh, touching some beautiful mountain roads down here, it's just stunning. Uh, 
Uh, we're on the SP59, I think the road is. And uh, there is a town up on the hill over there. I think it's Minucciano or something like that. Um, yeah. You get some of the old farmers in their Fiat's uh, doing all of 10 or 15 kilometers an hour along the road. You've got to really choose your places to get past them. Uh, but the roads aren't busy today, so it's really enjoyable. There's a town up there. It's like the road passing up just beneath it. Uh, you can see that's the road we just came up. Beautiful. Let's try it in first gear. Okay, we're on the road, uh, SP71, which is just above a small village called Campori. And the road looks fairly good. Uh, I think we've got a bit of forest to run through. Looking at my screen, it's uh, pretty green. Very good day out on the black today. The weather is stunning, absolutely perfect. On the SP71 road and just above the snow line, obviously, when it does snow, got all the markers on the side of the road. Currently at 1500 metres or thereabouts. This is a big go track, this one. Oh, stunning view. smoky or hazy San Pellegrin this is where we're at sort of a pass at the moment so Marini Oh the trusty old DRZ hey Just below the Passo della Radici on the SP324, I think it is. Uh, road just winding down into the forest. That's really nice. Stunning, just beautiful. It was quite a hot day, and uh, it's probably about five or six degrees cooler in here, at least. Really 
nice. And the roads aren't busy. It's a plus. We're on the SP42. Heading back towards Reggio Emilia. Got 126 kilometres to go. The roads are looking pretty good. And the roads are also still quiet, which is good. town's name sounds rather Aussie, Barragazzo. I have no idea what uh, the name of this road is, but the views are just amazing. You can see for miles. It is a bit of a goat track, but you know, can do with some repairs. Just met one of these on a corner a couple of minutes back. I think the tractor got more of a fright than I did. There's a road this wide. Only 55 k's to go till the end of the ride. And uh, I think I'm on the SP21 road. Um, heading down from the top of the hills. Uh, very rough but uh, if you can pick a line it's not too bad on. okay we're just arriving in Florence and we are definitely looking like tourists we're the slowest vehicle on the road and we're turning all over the place ZTL closed ZIL Ativa I got no idea. Uh, that's what I was waiting for. Anyway, we got that sorted out. And, yep. What's the limit? 30? Must be. Yeah. I'll stick to 30. I'll give a bit of a rip. Okay. All right. Left. Okay. It's a little bit stressful navigating through uh, these narrow streets and putting up with the one ways and uh, where's the bike going to park and all that. But uh, the bikes do appear everywhere, and it's very much a scooter town. This one. These are much better cobblestones because they're about 10 times the size of uh, most of the other ones we've ridden over. So they're a little bit smoother. That was, that was sculpting class we just went past. <laughs> yeah, they were all, there was, all the students were around sculpting uh, a head. So is this 100 metres or do I turn left here? Just one of the mountain passes uh, on our way down to Rimini. A few bikes here. Yeah. And here we go. Had a good had a good night in uh, Florence last night. Went out for tea and had a look around the city. Probably did a bit too much walking because I got a sore back. But, um,
quite a bit of a fire there. <coughs> yeah. Very dead. No, you're right. Yeah, right. Yep, you're good. No, the Ducati. Multi is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they uh, uh, are adventuring from one cafe to the next. Good sunny morning after an evening of solid rain. Making our way out of the city walls. Exactly. Fabrioni. We are just leaving. Beautiful day. But we're supposed to be looking at uh, thunderstorms again this afternoon was supposed to be 11 o'clock but hopefully it's correct in saying that uh, it won't be here till this afternoon so we shall see <laughs> 